Hello again, Danny Bahar, CEO of Group Lotus. And hello to you, Jared Lopez, CEO of Genii Capital and now with a less than 50% stake in Renault F1. It's not the money that's important. The most important thing is that Tony Fernandez has now gone as mad as a box of Mexican jumping beans over the Holy Fair. Yes, of course. Money means everything, but we've failed our mission if Tony goes home with a warm feeling in his stomach. We have to alienate him from all his friends. Already the Chapman family loves us, not because we own the Lotus name, no, not even because we're loaded. It's because I held them at gunpoint for six hours and forced them to make a public statement about how great we are. Then of course I robbed them, just as we did Fernand's. You have learned well, Gerard. With you and me claiming heritage to a team that has nothing to do with Group Lotus, we are damaging Tony Fernand's enterprises, and this could only be a good thing. I mean, think about it, everyone saw Braun GP come out of nowhere and thrash everyone. And Tony, impotent fool that he is, sets out a team thinking he can do the same, yet he fails to score a single point. He claims to be best of the new teams, but that's hardly a start, is it? So what do you think of Renault, and its beautiful transformation into Lotus Renault GP? Oh, you are not much better either. We only joined you so we could falsely claim heritage to the Lotus name and irritate Fernandes and stuff. Oh. Okay, fine by me. Say, do you think stealing the JPS livery annoyed him most? Oh yes. My stomach squeals with delight at the way he backed down and reverted to the ugly looking green and yellow color scheme. What a coward. Indeed. Ha 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 ha. What about our drivers? Kabaka is on plenty of steroids and has an ugly shaped head. Petrov looks nicer and brings in crap loads of money. It's clear to me who our long-term prospect is. With all due respect Danny, Kubica has given the team more podiums by far, putting the car right where it should be. While we all love the money Vitaly is bringing in. So it's agreed then, every night we shall worship the endless Russian money Petrov gets us. I plan to get rid of Robert when his contract expires. It doesn't matter how well he drives. In a couple of years, he's going to look like that guy from South Park. What good would look do for our image, Jared? Erm. Maybe it would widen our US fan base. Fat chance. Those picky little assholes couldn't really care less about F1. Anyway, at least we have better drivers than that peasant, Fernandes. Who's ever heard of Jarno Truly or Heikki Kovalainen? They sound like a circus act. I can't believe that blonde bimbo won LG moment of the year. What's so special about him putting out a fire? Everyone knows he drinks heavily anyway. But none of this really matters anymore. I'm going to mess up Tony's mind some more on 2011, anything else you want to ask me? Yes Danny. What we're doing? Is it illegal? It most certainly is, and if you tell anyone, you're a dead little snitch. Understand? Yes sir. Good luck on getting rid of Fernandez. Don't worry Gerard, I'll run him so dry, he won't have soap to wash his hands with. Malahahahaha. <laughs>